Moreover, organizations should also understand the importance of embracing the philosophy of uh, cultural act instead of cultural fit. Whereas cultural fit refers to employees conforming or adapting to the norms of an organization, culture act implies an organization actively embracing diversity in their norms, mm -hmm. acknowledge different cultural practices and making inclusion as part of their core business strategy. For example, we know Mackenzie is highly committed to creating a gender balanced, diverse, equitable, and inclusive environment. The diversity and inclusion, inclusion program you lead, Laura, at the tech organization is an example of how leaders can commit to driving cultural change and embedding inclusion as part of their core values and team norms. I praise you and McKinsey, of course, for this. Uh, thank you so much, Doña Laura. And I, I, I definitely see it myself personally, what you're talking about, tolerance, accepting, changing cultures rather than trying to fit everyone in a single box, actually enjoying the differences. Uh, I, I can definitely attest to what you're saying. My teams are a lot more innovative because we're from so many different backgrounds. Um, thank you so much for that answer. Because all, 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 all of us gain, even in a personal uh, dimension, sharing with different people is something really wonderful.